Hello everybody, this is Mike with VM Reviews and today I'm going to review the Samsung Galaxy S2 by Virgin Mobile. Uh, in this video I'm going to go over specs as like uh, physical features, hardware, and maybe certain apps that come with this phone. So thanks for watching, okay? Okay, let's start with the physical features. Um, uh, first off, you're going to notice that this phone does have a very nice uh, 4.52 inch touch screen and it's a super AMOLED screen. so. Uh, it's one of those very, very nice looking screens that Samsung uh, pretty much made famous. Uh, that's one thing I love about their phones is that the screens look amazing. Uh, the phone has a two, two megapixel front facing camera. It has your little sensors there. Uh, and right up here you have a proximity sensor, which you can't see. But when you get notifications, uh, it'll go off. So it turns red and blue. And on certain apps, you can possibly change color also. On the bottom here, you have capacitive buttons, four capacitive buttons. Uh, it's got a menu, home, back, end, and uh, what you call it, what they call it, that search, the search menu button. And uh, this phone does have haptic feedback. And if you guys don't know what haptic feedback is, basically these buttons vibrate on key press when you press them. Okay. In the back, we have an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash. On the top, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the side, you have your volume rockers. This phone does not have a physical camera button just for you uh, camera enthusiasts out there so keep that in mind and on the bottom you have your micro USB charging port with a microphone and let me just pop open the back really quick so you guys can see that this uh, phone does have expandable memory up to 32 gigabytes so if you guys uh, are take a lot of photos or video and don't want memory being hogged up on the internal memory you can always do that Okay, let's start off with the, the lock screen here. Uh, basic lock screen uh, uh, shows the time, the date, and right here you can add your name. I put VM reviews. Uh, you can't add any widgets to the lock screen, unfortunately. I mean, you can change the, the lock settings to have a pin or a, one of those little patterns, and you can do face unlock with the camera as well. Uh, let's get into the phone, though, okay? <clears throat> now, a little about this phone before we uh, start off. This phone was actually uh, released uh, in in August, or actually not August. It was released in September of 2011. Uh, so this phone's already almost a couple of, of years old. Uh, this phone was actually, uh, when it came out, it was re uh, competing at the time with the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4. So, uh, you know, Samsung at the time uh, was getting their act together with the the smartphones and they st and this phone was one of the top of the line phones to have when it was released and and right now it you would probably consider it a mid-range device but it's still a really good phone to have <clears throat> okay excuse my my coughing there but this phone as I said it comes with a 4.5 inch touchscreen the screen itself is 480 by 800 pixels uh, the resolution it's got 206 uh, pixels per inch PPI so a uh, very very clear screen quality. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you like how clear the screen is looking. That's because I don't I don't have the brightness settings all the way up. So it has a beautiful beautiful screen. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, it's got an eighteen hundred milliamp battery, and uh, this phone is a four G phone. For those of you who don't know, this is one of uh, Virgin Mobile's only four G phones besides the the Galaxy Victory. And this phone runs off their WiMAX network. It's not an LTE phone. So keep that in mind. I know LTE, uh, Sprint, and Virgin Mobile, and Boost, they're expanding their LTE markets. So uh, this is still a really good phone to have, considering it's only a 4G phone. And if you live in the area uh, where you guys have 4G instead of LTE, well, this, is, uh, this would be probably one of your favorite phones. Or uh, this is probably a phone you would want to look at. Um, <clears throat> It's got a Samsung uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz uh, Exynos processor, and I like that name, Exynos. It's got one gig of RAM, uh, and it's got 16 gigabytes of internal memory. And as I said, it has a micro SD card slot up to 32 gigabytes, uh, so you can do that. But I'm pretty sure you can probably fit in a 64 gig, depending. Might get it to work, might not. Um... <clears throat> Let's see what else. On the back, of course, like I said, it has an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, the, and the camera can take 1080p video at 30 frames per second. 
and you can also take 720p video as well and so forth. You can go down on the resolution on the phone there. Okay, now that I talked about uh, har hardware and physical features, let's go over the apps that come with this phone. As you guys can see, uh, this phone comes with an app called All Share, and basically this app it uh, it allows you to share multimedia with uh, other devices that have DLNA, and you can send pictures, photos to like your computer or other phones that have the uh, DL DNLA uh, enabled on their devices. So. Just showing you guys what that is. It comes with a calculator, calendar, your camera. Uh, does not come with Chrome. I had to install that. Uh, your clock widget, uh, contacts, uh, email, most Google functions like Gmail, Google Plus. That uh, Instagram you have to install. Comes with a stock based internet browser. Comes with Keys Air, which basically it's an app that uh, allows you to. You know, enables Wi-Fi device, two device connections, and browser-based management. And I'm not too sure what that is. I've never used it, but it has to do with Wi-Fi. So, so let's see what else. Uh, it comes with your local maps, messaging app, Messenger Plus, mobile ID, which I'm still not a huge fan of uh, because it just it basically installs bloatware. It comes with your music player, my account, my files, and my files is pretty good because you can go through the files. Uh, like your uh, pictures, stuff like that. So I mean, like little things like that. Especially if you have a, a micro SD card installed, it's it's good to have. All right, let's go back from there. It comes with a photo editor. Uh, so if you guys like taking pictures and like photo fo uh, editing photos without the other things, and that's good. Um, comes with Polaris Office, which uh, is like a Word document viewer, and you can also view PowerPoint presentations and Excel documents with that comes with Google Play Music uh, and Play Movies, so you can stream music and movies. Uh, basic settings feature comes with Google Talk, uh, Task Manager, a video maker. So if you, uh, like I said, this cam the camera on this takes 1080p video. You can take uh, and make movies with the video movie maker here and edit the clips with that. And then you have your video player. Comes with Virgin Mobile Live, which is like a music player and it comes with visual voicemail as well and comes with YouTube and that's it and for your widgets it doesn't come with too much it comes with your AccuWeather widget application monitor uh, just basic stuff like your digital clock N nothing too fancy your Gmail music widget frame music fr or picture frame and your power saving uh, widgets and so forth Twitter Virgin Mobile Live and YouTube of course uh, let, let me get into the keyboard on this uh, phone real quick. Let's go to the messaging app. And if you guys want to know what the messaging app, this is what it looks like. And let me just click this. This is what it looks like. It comes colored like that. Your incoming texts are yellow and your outgoing texts are blue. Uh, on the new TouchWiz, you can change this and change the colors. But on this phone, you cannot. As far as I know, you can at least. Let's take a look. Mm, yeah, you can't change any of that. So. But here you are. Let's take a look at the keyboard. Right now I have the Jelly Bean keyboard installed, and let's do a, a quick test, okay? The quick, and you see I can't even spell because I'm horrible at, at typing when I'm taking video. Round box has landed. Okay, so as you can see there, it's pretty responsive. But this out of the box, this phone does come with swipe. So if you guys are like swipe, that's actually the keyboard that it comes built in with. And let's take let let's try here. Hey, what's up? So I'm not. You can see I'm not that good. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Like that. So, and of course I misspelled. So comes with swipe installed and it comes with the Samsung uh, keypad, which I'm not a huge fan of because it doesn't have predict the text. And it's it's just not that great of a keyboard overall. Not that you see, look at that. I can't even. Not that great. You see, and it doesn't have autocorrect or anything like that. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, not a fan of this either. The send and attachment file right there. It gets in the way. Sometimes I'll press this instead of send. So I wish the Samsung would you know update it where it would just like flip. That way I wouldn't have to accidentally press that instead of the send button. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, that you're, 
uh, you can install a third-party text messaging app, which might change that, but that is annoying right there, that little send and attachment feature. I wish it was flipped the other way around. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, let's see, widgets. You got my Twitter widget there. Um, I guess I'm going to end the video here, guys. Uh, but keep an eye out for the next couple videos. I'm going to post up a Quadrant Standard and Speed Test video with uh, camera app usage on that video. And then on my final video, I'm going to give you guys uh, app usage. I'm going to show you guys how Twitter uh, runs. I'm going to show you guys how the browser works and games on the last video. So uh, keep an eye out for those videos, guys. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thank you.